We are getting news in at this hour. I want to put this right up on the board because this just came to us right before we came back on the air. We can now project in North Carolina in the Senate race there, uh, Ted Budd, the Republican congressman, will serve North Carolina in the Senate. He beats Sherry Beasley. Uh, that's a hold, but it's still a significant victory for Ted Budd. That will remain a Republican seat in the Senate. Back here in the room, I want to get right over to Nate Silver at the 538 board. And, and Nate, it's already been moved over automatically. What does it do to the probability here? So we were at 5149. Even I don't know this number yet. It's going to be, let's see, 6337. So based on the called races, you'd rather be the GOP. But we can see, for example, Pennsylvania. Democrats feel pretty good about that one. The governor's race is called for them. If Fetterman were to win, that would tip things, I think, right back in to 50-50, oh, actually much more than that, a two to one Democratic edge based on Pennsylvania. If Oz were to win though, then you start to have a real front runner in the race for the Senate. The GOP would then be an 84% favorite to win the Senate. Rick Klein? Yeah, I, I, what I'm struck by here is that Sherry Beasley was, it wasn't um, able to perform what Joe Biden did in some parts of the state. And it suggests maybe a lack of enthusiasm in the Democratic base. I was just looking at one county that Joe Biden was able to bring back in his column. Remember, he lost North Carolina anyway, we can see Sherry Beasley a couple points behind where she needed to be. She was able to perform pretty well there in the research triangle in some of the in some of the larger cities in the university towns. Uh, but the bottom line is it's a Republican state. And in a year that was going to be as bad for Democrats as we thought a midterm like this would be, it's just very difficult to overcome that. And Ted Budd had a profile that was just not not objectionable enough. He had the Trump support, but he wasn't quite out there in the same way as some of the other Republicans running up and down the ticket. Uh, Sherry Beasley was a prized Democratic recruit. And I think, you know, this is a point I think Donna will speak to later today as, as well. People will talk about points that were left on the table for Democrats. I think they're going to look at this race. They're going to look at Tim Ryan. I think maybe if they invested in different places, maybe they could have boosted the turnout just enough because this, frankly, is closer than a lot of people ever thought it could be. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.